Acme Superstore. It's a big sign here. There's also a twisty treat across the street. And I wanted to show this because it's super cute. It's a little cone. It has these lights. I like it. Here's a little intro until I get one professionally done. Like, comment, and subscribe to join in on the fun. Hello, hi, welcome. Today we are in Longwood, Florida, which is right outside of Orlando, and we are at Acme Superstore, and we're here because a whole bunch of people <laughs> recommended I come here while in Florida. Um, the place is huge. It looks like it's a toy store, a comic store, like everything. I'm gonna spin this around all professionally like I do there we go now you can see but this is the whole building here like it's insanely large and it says here I'm not sure if you can even see this because it's nighttime and these signs are fluorescent and whatnot but it says oh as I'm coming up I think you can see a million items and it says comics and toys over here is a sign for Acme Superstore and the front is just loaded with wonderful nerdiness. There's the over a million items again. We have some Batman and an X-Men comic here. I'm not sure what this is. I'm assuming it's a graphic novel. And G.I. Joe, The Walking Dead, and the biggest toys that you could ever want and it, it's still going like look at this this is the whole outside there's this Boba Fett figure package sign an Avengers comic a TARDIS a Thor comic a Watchmen comic and now a big comics sign and, and we're still going like it's still going do, 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 do. masters of the universe oh I can kind of like peek in through this one. Here's like a wall of Funkos. This is, this is going to be quite the adventure. Invisible? I don't know this comic. Ooh, but there's our buddy Han, the greatest guy ever. Bone, I read this. Uh, Spider-Man? And then, Acme Superstore! So I'm going to flip this around again, like I do. So yeah, I'm going to head inside and probably spend like the next 10 hours of my life. I actually can't. I think they close in like two hours. So at least the next two hours of my life looking at maybe the most toys I've ever seen in one spot. So let's go. <laughs> it's a really long walk back to the door. The length of this building is insane. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, it's it's huge. Here's the Justice League aisle. And we're going to start off with all these McFarlands. Like, so many McFarlands. And there's even more over here. Just so, 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 so many. I thought there was a lot at the Canadian Toys R Us. But they have this. <laughs> this place has put that to shame. There's also cases of some. Justice League figures and like this is just jam-packed. There's so many. Look at this little Supergirl here hanging out. Like you cannot ask for any more figures. And this is just a case. Like you saw the outside. It is insanely large. Oh, look at this Hall of Justice. That's really cool. So many. And here are all the Justice League Funkos. I like how organized this is. Like you can you know where to go exactly to find what you're looking for. Like this cool chrome joker. 
This packaging is cool. I've never seen these. Dutch, uh, Lex Luthor. That's a cool figure. And Aquaman. Who is playing Aquaman here? He looks like Randy Orton. Who is that? If anyone knows who that is, let me know. Here is a wall of Marvel select figures. Not quite as many as the McFarlane's, but to be fair, McFarlane just keeps cranking them out. And some carded guys and some Lucy's. It looks like with Justice League, there's also Marvel. So maybe this is just the superhero section. Oh yeah, here it says Deadpool. So maybe it's not just all Justice League. But oh yeah, if you look in the cases here, you can see, I think we've moved on to Marvel. He's cool. I like him. And all the Marvel Legends you could ever want. They're just rows and rows and rows and rows of Marvel Legends. But that's not it. Here we go. We have more. I don't think these are all Marvel Legends. There may be other companies as well. But yeah, just like so many. She's cool. Who's this? I like her. And more and more and more and more. That's a cool set there. More and more and more. Oh, and look. And more and more. Look at this little Captain America plate. Ooh. I like that. I've never seen a little Captain America plane. There's a few different caps here. Some more caps. There's a cap trophy. Is that to award yourself with like cap status? Here's all hulks. Yeah, there's a lot of caps. I keep going back to the caps because they're pretty fun. A full shelf of Iron Man's or Iron Man. I'll say Iron Man's. Door. Oh, look at the little. Oh, that's Iron Man. Who's a little Iron Man guy? Jessica Jones. Apparently, I should have bought this Funko when I could because now she's more expensive. And even more. Oh, look at this Captain America car. He has a little gun in the back. Oh, look at Jar Jar here. Oh, decorated for Christmas. He's festive. Also, a giant silver surfer hanging out with his crazy surfboard. And some feet. And a web heading to Spider-Man. Oh, look at these Godzilla figures and Kong by Spider-Man. This whole scene's pretty cool. Oh, and a little Leonardo. Is that Leonardo there? I can't quite tell by the color. We'll, we'll say it's Leonardo. And a Hulk fist busting through the wall right next to Mr. Superman here, who is also quite festive for Christmas in his little hat. There's also more comics than anyone could ever read. Look at all the comics. All right, on to the next aisle, which has a Little Mermaid banner, and that's bad because this may be all Disney, and there's a lot of Disney here in Florida, stuff that I don't see normally. So much stuff. Yep, it looks like this is all, like, cartoon stuff. Little Powerpuff Girls. Oh, look at these little Rocky and Bullwinkle figures. Secret Squirrel. So much stuff. Oh look, it's um, Invader Zim's little piggy, and there he is back there, Mr. Zim. These guys are cool. I like the pig lantern guy. Is that a pig? I'm not sure what he is. So, not all cute little Disney toys. Like, look at this Batman with the crazy mouth. Is that a deceased figure? And which I think is really funny because it's spelled DC and then East, so deceased. Yeah, lots, lots of stuff. All right, these 
are all ridiculously adorable. There needs to stop being so many Disney collectibles in Florida because I never see this many anywhere and I want them all. Like, look at that Belle. Belle is my favorite princess and she is adorable. And here you can see the figure close up. It looks like it's, it's hefty, like a little weighted figure. And roll off and it's called Fluffy Puffy. Aw, I am also Fluffy Puffy. There's um, Wreck-It Ralph. I was going to say Jasmine because of the tiger, but I guess not. And Toy Story. Melissa, Maleficent as a dragon. Ariel. And look at this bell. Ooh. Look at this Haunted Mansion set. That's really cool. Especially since I just rode the ride for the first time. And some Pixar figures. And Nightmare Before Christmas. Look at these guys. This <laughs> Belle and Beast. That's adorable. Yeah, there's so many new things I'm finding here that I would like to collect. Look at all these little Disney figures in the case. I actually had this one. The little monkey from uh, Jungle Book. I think that was a McDonald's or Burger King toy. There's just so many, so much stuff to look at. And even more down here. Oh, look, it's the dog from Little Mermaid. So much stuff. Oh my goodness, and look at all the cars here. More cars than I've ever seen. And most of this stuff is just from Lion King. There's a couple Funkos in this case. So I have this Peter Pan who fights Hook. And then Jacob has this Goofy on the Dumbo ride. But there's so much stuff. Oh, look at the owl with from, uh, is it Sleeping Beauty? I believe it's Sleeping Beauty. Dressing up? No. Is it Sleeping Beauty? Is that Cinderella? Why can't it Snow White? Why can't I remember? Maybe it's Snow White. When they're dressing, it's with the princess, or the fairies. Sleeping Beauty. I'm gonna, final answer is Sleeping Beauty. I could be wrong. Oh, and look at all the little Dales. Well, two, but, oh, and there's Chip in the background. It is Chip and Dale, right? Chip is the red nosed one. I had these two when I was a kid. The little Muppet Babies cars. Aww. And the Fozzie on the horse. It says here they were McDonald's Happy Meal toys. Aww. Here's a whole Garfield section. I actually used to collect Garfield when I was younger. And look at this Garfield teapot. Right next to Pokey. Hi. Want one of everything, please. Here are some vintage My Little Ponies, followed by the new ones. And more little cute guys and minions. Surprisingly, I've never seen a Minions movie. They're from Despicable Me, Despicable Me I believe. Despicable Me, I believe. That's also hard to say. Look at this guy. He's amazing. And $20, I feel like that's a really good price. His name's Sweetums, I believe. And then this animal. These are all really cool. Ooh. And look at this Rudolph. It says, try me, Rudolph talks. I don't know if he still will. No, I don't think so. But that's really neat. And here's a random rhinoceros and woolly mammoth. Just random, but, but cute. Here's Funkos in this aisle for different cartoons. I have Super Chicken here. Just call for Super Chicken. And then bags of just little loose guys here with all kinds of fun stuff. Here's Mindy and the pigeons from Animaniacs. Oh, there's Pinky back there. And then there's the actual Animaniacs. I feel like I could just get bags of toys and have an unboxing adventure. 
and it would be super fun. Oh, here's a create a scene figure. Again, I didn't know that was a thing. That's cute too. Also, a crazy case of just Simpsons. Actually, there's some wrestling down here. I have this Ric Flair. I really like that Ric Flair there. Yeah, so, so many Simpsons. Followed by Simpsons over here. Simpsons down here and here. Like, whatever you want, there is a lot of. There's a lot of everything. And I just noticed there's another room over here. So there's these cool boxes for comics. Oh, and what's his name? Watu Wagu. What's his name? I think it's Wa something. And a Chewy back there. Oh, and then the little speeder for kids that if I had a kid, I would have bought for them immediately. And a giant Ninja Turtle. And here's Black Adam selling you some books. He um, would like you to read his stories. I smell what The Rock is reading. This case has a black light display with Galactus here and a teeny tiny black light silver surfer. I wanted this before just because of the cute tiny silver surfer that you can put in his palm here. And I just found the clearance section and I love a good clearance section. Look at that house in the background. If I wasn't in Florida and had to drive home and the trunk was already full, I would have considered that. What is all this clearance stuff? What is this guy? He's cute. Oh, look how happy he is. It says Spirited Universal Studios. Aww. He's really cute. Oh, he's missing a little wing. Maybe that's why he's on clearance. There's a bin of clearance toys. More clearance toys. More bins. I actually just stepped on a bunch of clearance toys. There's a Spider-Man car. Some Dorbs rides. Is that Star-Lord up there? Ooh. I don't have a Star-Lord yet. Look at this adorable little Magneto. He's so cute. Here he is over here on display with this cute little thing. Look Captain Marvel. Aww. Oh, and look at the Bambi statues. And Nala. That Mickey back there is cool too. And Beauty and the Beast. Here are some cute figures. But you're not even going to be able to prepare yourself for what I'm about to show you next. Panning over here. Like I'm super excited. I can't even contain myself. Look at the Psyduck. And Charmander, Squirtle, Bulbazar, Pikachu, as Muscle Men? What is happening? Look at Psyduck. That is insane. I want all of these. They're so goofy. And this cute little bobblehead Darth Vader for Christmas. He's a dancing. Oh, and he has this little Death Star snow globe. Aww. Here's some more cute little guys. And look at this hot, look at his face. He's so happy even though he's in carbonite. And this super cute Darth Maul with the effect that look like his sabers blowing in. Hi. And yeah, there's some super cool stuff in the case here. Look at that Kong. That Mechagodzilla. That swamp thing's pretty cool. Alright, the Star Wars aisle. We will try to compose ourselves and not buy the entire aisle. Here we have lots and lots of busts. Oh, this is cool. It looks like a Mandalorian symbol bookends. And here is the glasses for when they're doing the force training and then the head. I'm not sure who that is though. Look at this face. 
<laughs> it's been really funny. Oh, and assembled Legos, so you don't have to go through all of that. You can just buy them completed. Here we have the original figures and this whole little hop scene here. And then this Millennium Falcon in really good shape, actually. That's nice. And here, all separated. There's the original Star Wars 70s figures. And like I said, this store is super organized. I was talking to one of the owner owners, and he said it is a labor of love. Oh, and look at this Jedi Council here. That's neat. There's also a whole case here with five different shelves of just all the three and three quarter inch figures. Oh, look at him. The guy with the neck and shanks from the um, prequels. I don't know as much about the prequels as I do as the original trilogy, which I admit, like, I need to be more well versed on Star Wars besides the original trilogy. This wall here, as I hit the cabinet behind me, is just all Star Wars Funkos. So many Star Wars Funkos. So many. I don't have this one. C-3PO on the throne with the Ewoks. And here's a concept series Yoda. And a red stormtrooper. They had a red stormtrooper in front of um, the Lego store too at Disney Springs. I'm not sure what the red stormtrooper is. But yeah, a lot of Funkos here. And surprisingly a lot that I don't have. If I didn't already spend a lot of money in Disney, I would probably be buying like so many. These Funkos back here, this bounty on our collection, all forms together here. And I've never seen it put together, so that's neat. But in order to complete the series, you need to spend a significant amount of money. So like 4, 8, 12, 16, 17. Yeah, it would be like almost $200. A little over $200 to complete all of that. So I may not be owning that. I just looked over here to confirm his name because I saw the statue and it was bothering me that I couldn't remember his name. It's Watto. I knew it was something with a W. So, Watto. And look at all the plushies. Look at this Vigrant Dan little plushie. And what's this over here? A battle figure game? So there's Jabba with a big old mouth and it looks like that ball fires out. That's fun. And these cute little sum sums tum tums i don't know how to pronounce it but i've always liked them i have han and leia but there's a lot more here and what's this oh i have this chewy hello chewy oh he fell he faced barnard and this really cute kylo ren oh here are the little guys that um i'm not sure what company makes them i know they're geared for children but I just think they're the cutest thing. And they have a bunch of them. They have a whole lot. And then here's those figures that I saw the other day at Gods and Monsters. And I didn't know the name of them. And you guys had to tell me what they were. But they were a long name. It was a long name. And I don't quite remember what they were called. So I may need another reminder in the comments. But look. Look at the cute guys. Look at Han up there. And this little Millennium Falcon. And these cute little do bags. Aww. And look back here, I was just looking, this Greedo and Han here, these Funkos are actually salt and pepper sh shakers, they're ceramic, and I own those. <laughs> and look, little Star Wars M&Ms. There's also a shelf devoted to R2 and one BB-8. But, super cute. And here's some loose Funkos. Maybe I could find some loose Funkos I don't have but I think I either have the majority or um they're ones that I don't necessarily need for my collection and here's a shelf just of Darth Vader I used to have this bank 
in. Oh, there's a, there it is again. There's the bank again. And here's a Vader Force Sprinkler. So it will <laughs> sprinkle you with the Force. It uh, spins around with water spraying action. It spins around with water spraying force action. All right, it was worth coming to the store alone just for these displays. It says display not for sale. And that makes me happy because these are some crazy fight scenes. I think I'm gonna pan out here so you can see this whole thing. It's crazy. And then here, we have another little Jedi Council. It looks like maybe, oh, no, I think that's um, Count Dooku there, so maybe not. And coming down here, we have the Endor scene, which is my favorite. Oh, we have the speeder bikes down there. And look at this. When Han and Chewie walked out and the stormtroopers came and got them and the big ATAT -AT walker I, I just want people from here to come and set this up at my house there's really cool scenes here's the cantina and that's a beefy loop there yeah these scenes set up are really neat oh and then there's a couple more down here Look at all those guards. That's a lot of guards. And then here, a battle. I mentioned that I had that Darth Vader bank. My sister had this one. And here it is in the box. They both played music and I think Darth Vader's lightsaber lit up. I just pulled this down. I'm a sucker for anything Millennium Falcon. And it like glistens where the lights would be. And there's a strap, like a carrying strap. I don't know what this is. I like it a lot, but I don't know what it is. There's a pole thing. So there's batteries. I don't know what this is. I thought maybe it was a purse since there's a strap. I don't know. If anyone knows what this is, leave a comment and let me know. And I may regret not buying it because it's super cool. Here's a whole row of life-size role-playing helmets. Those are neat. And you can buy the Darth Vader one new here that came out recently. Here's a hologram Mandalorian bust. That's really neat. Here's an end cap. Oh, some really neat figures. Um, the NECA Universal Monsters. Figures from the boys. Aliens. And now Let's move on to the next aisle with these cool gremlins and Slimer up top. Here's a Christmas Story playset. I've never seen this before. And again, I've only seen the movie once. It was at like a stayover type thing at school. It was like a lock-in, I think that's what it was called, where they lock you in for the night and you stay and watch movies and stuff. And this movie was playing. So that's the only time I've seen it. But I know everyone loves this movie, so I need to give it another chance. And look at this guy here, it's Gizmo in the cool car. Oh, and another little Gizmo over here, ready to fight back. There's some cool horror guys here. This crow statue is really cool. And these cute little universal monster guys. Look at this mummy. <laughs> He's not happy. Oh, and the hunchback, look at him. There's this really cool robot and a bunch of figures here that oh, I don't know what they are oh they're Scully I guess it's just a whole mishmash oh there's Pennywise in the gutter that's cool look at him back there <laughs> that's really funny oh and that Wicked Witch well not Wicked Witch but Witch Fez Dispenser I had her I think that's one of the original ones all right I think this is second place for the cabinets I like best after um, Star Wars. This Jurassic Park scene with the big gate in the background. That's really neat. And even more down here. T-Rex and the vehicles. So many times.
dinosaurs. All the dinosaurs. Every dinosaur ever. Dinosaur, 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 dinosaur. There's also a ton, like a ton of Pacific Rim figures, and I don't know anything about Pacific Rim, so I feel like I'm kind of out of the loop. But there's also some NECA figures, I know that at least. And then Ace Ventura, randomly. And Aliens vs. Predator. And Lord of the Rings. Yeah, just like anything you could wish for. Ooh, including Indiana Jones. That makes me happy. Oh, and look, you can get a German mechanic figure. So that's a very specific guy. <laughs> These Xena figures over here are really cool. And look, look at this kiss, Mr. Potato Head. <laughs> that makeup is insane. Instead of the Invisible Man, we have the Visible Man here, where you can see through him. And look at the skeleton with his little head backwards. What is going on? What is happening with this guy? Oh, this is cool. With Quentin there, it looks like. Oh, it's sold as the set, so you can't just buy the shark. You need to get Quint as well. I don't know a lot about Star Trek, but there's a lot of figures here, and they're all pretty neat. Here's some little G.I. Joe Funkos that I've been trying to refrain myself from buying because they're super cute, and I like them. I especially want Baroness and Destro, but Destro's kind of expensive, so I haven't broke down and gotten Baroness yet, but... I really like her. I think she looks like me. There's also these fun Ghostbuster Funko and even Slimer cereal. Like I said before, their cases are set up so great. Like here's the Ninja Turtles all set up. You can see over here continuing. Oh, look at this shredder. He's cool. He's kind of like cartoony oh my goodness look at this guy look at his face he's so happy why is he so happy he's the happiest turtle I've ever seen my sister I believe had this when I was a kid she either had it or wanted it I remember the eye and it changed to a dome I think it was crane related and then here is a whole series of Masters of the Universe figures all set up with the castle and Ghostbusters set up with the tower. Yeah, these cases here are great. Last aisle is devoted to Funkos because Funkos are great. I think these are just like a mishmash because here we have a 7-Eleven exclusive Slurpee. There's some Pringles and Sugar Bear. And we have Bullseye and the Target mascot and Big Boy, Smokey the Bear. I don't know who Impossa Bear is, but maybe he can be friends with Smokey the Bear. Another cool case, look at this. Look at this Godzilla and Kong set up. I want to live here. <laughs> I've decided I'm just moving in. And this Mothra, I still need a Mothra. It's phenomenal. All right, that Mothra's $250. Maybe I don't need that Mothra. Maybe I can just stare at that Mothra and look at it and see how much I want it. Like, just long for it. And, I mean, because you can just want stuff and not buy it. And, I mean, it's really cool, but it's expensive. And this case has devoted all to Power Rangers and they're even separated by color because this store is the most organized toy store I've ever seen. The most colossal crossover of all time, Godzilla Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Is this something that really happened? Because if it did, I need to watch it immediately. Godzilla versus Mighty Morphin Power Rangers? How did I not know about this? 
in my Gods and Monsters video, I was talking about Chopper, and you guys were telling me how many episodes there are of One Piece, and I can tell there's a lot of fans of One Piece, but they told me there's like thousands of episodes, and that Chopper doesn't even appear till episode like 82, but look at Chopper. I love him so much, and this is buff Chopper. I think I want to give One Piece a shot. I know there's a trillion episodes, but maybe it can just be like the show I put on when I need something to watch. And eventually, someday, I will get through the thousands and thousands of episodes. Here's another really cool case. This Sleeping Beauty snow globe. And then the Cave of Wonders from Aladdin. Oh, and there's this little mermaid and Bugs Life stuff. Oh, and look up here. That's Baby Huey. And that was Acme Superstore, which is insanely gigantic, but insanely amazing. <laughs> the cases are set up so great with the figures. There's like dioramas and everything, and everything is orderly. There's aisles for like each fandom. It, it's a really cool store. It's huge. It, it's a huge store and I did buy one thing I bought the Smokey the Bear Funko because he um Jacob and I are collecting mascots and we do not have Smokey the Bear so I thought that we needed to add him to the collection speaking of Jacob he's at the hotel and I have his car and look I have the hat I can wear the hat for the outro so thank you for watching. Um, I have no outro, which is the outro. I do have a Patreon, which is below. So yeah, um, that's it. Thanks for watching. I said that. Uh, yeah, that, that, that's it. to help keep this train on the tracks, this boat in the water, and this dirigible in the air. Till next time, my friends. This one's in the Jenny Penny. The Jenny Penny. <laughs>